Uh, joining now for his perspective, we have Bill Plummer. He's Huawei's he Vice President of External Affairs, William Plummer. Eleven months ago, the, the committee issued a press release announcing an investigation. And in December, we met with them in Washington. In February, we hosted them in China. In May, we hosted committee members and staff in Hong Kong with our CEO. In June, we received a list of questions from the committee, which we responded to in short order in early July. In September, we made a witness available to testify before the committee and subsequently answered an additional list of questions. The sad thing is, is that while we were open and transparent in, in good faith, anticipating an objective report, what we essentially got was a book-long version of the press release that launched the investigation last November. The fact that this is a political agenda is demonstrated by the fact that they launched an investigation of two companies headquartered in China instead of the six companies that are all coding and building and developing in China. This company, 25 years old, has now grown to 140,000 people, 70,000 of which are engaged in R&D. We are an innovative leader in this industry. We have over 50,000 patents filed, over 500 telecommunications operators as customers. 32.4 billion in revenues last year across 150 different markets. 70% of our business outside of China. Huawei is not going to jeopardize its commercial success for any government, period.